Dear students, we have already learned about the positioning school of thought, its uh, premises, its foundation, and its criticism as well. So in this video, we will uh, see some context and contributions of uh, the positioning school of thought. By context and contributions, we mean that we will see that in which context uh, this positioning school of thought is applicable and uh, in what are the contributions in the body of knowledge and body of scholarship uh, of the positioning school of thought. So first of all, we will see the context in which the positioning school of thought uh, is possible to be implemented. Uh, this is possible uh, for those kind of organizations that are operating in the stable condition and the predictable condition. By stable and predictable condition, uh, the, we mean that the organizations are operating in the frozen kind of uh, conditions, which means their strengths and weaknesses are not changing much. Uh, the political and the social aspects are not changing much. And uh, we have a certain kind of uh, uh, competitors in the market, and they are, uh, there is no uh, entry of the new uh, competitors in the industry. So uh, this is the context in which we assume that uh, certainly the stable and predictable uh, conditions are available. In those, for those kind of organizations, the positioning school of thought implementation is possible. The second is uh, the contributions. Um, and this is uh, the positioning school of thought is a prescriptive school as we have already told you right by prescriptive school we mean that it tells us that how the strategy should be formulated so um, it uh, is a it tells us the ideal situation and uh, it is also the addition and the content of the planning school by modifying the role of uh, the planner to the analyst uh, by this we mean that uh, in this case, the planners are not uh, merely the planners, but they are also the analyzers of the situation, uh, though the situation is stable and predictable, but still they are able to analyze all of the situation and they try to find out uh, their organizational position and um, inside uh, the uh, framework which is provided by the positioning school of thought and also uh, try to select among the strategies which are provided by the positioning school of thought. 